Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back at the tech bench here and today we're going to be going over how to fix your Spire 3 if it's got a burnt motor. So guys, I've got a Spire 3 and I've been having issues with it. It won't, um, the motor won't spin. So I'm going to show you guys what's going on with it first of all and kind of some diagnosis you can uh, do on your own. So the Spire 3 here, the power button is in the back. So when I turn it on, I hear a beep. The lights flash red, but I'm gonna open the shell up here. As you can see, the motor does not move. Now, the Spire works off of shot logic, so it senses the vibration off of every shot. So when I tap the Spire, it would register as a shot. Nothing happens, it should spin. Now, if you're having this issue and you're tapping it, it's not spinning, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the motor. It could mean it is the shot sensor. The last thing you can try to do um, to see if it is not your motor is right on the bottom of the spire here, we've got a V and it looks like a button. We're gonna hold that. That's gonna force your motor to spin. So if you hold that, hear that beep, nothing spun. That means that your motor is definitely shot if it's not forcing it to feed even um, in that scenario. So today we're gonna replace the motor because that's what it's come down to. Okay guys, so I'm just pulling this right out of the tray. We don't need this uh, shell here. We're just gonna focus on the actual body here. So when I was talking about the shot sensor, the shot vibrator, this is a little sensor here. See how it kind of shakes there? It senses any little vibrations you know, from your gun and that sends a signal to your motor to pulse. So we're gonna take this drive cone off here because we're gonna to need to do that to get to the motor. Boom. And what else do we need to do? We're gonna pull this wire harness off right here. So just grab gently. We wanna make sure the power is gone to that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move this gray tray here. So we've got to push on this little tab here. Right here, there's a gray tab. We wanna push on that and then pull it back. So it kind of works on a hinge system. So once we've got our motor tray assembly removed, we can set the rest of our Spire 3 tray to the side. So guys, the Spire 3 motor is in this plastic housing here and we need to remove it to replace it with our new motor. So to do this, guys, we're gonna to need to grab a little flat screwdriver or a small Allen key and put it under this black plastic disc here. And we're gonna pry this up just nice and carefully on each side. Just keep prying until this comes all the way off, which it will. Just might need some persuasion. Mine's just starting to come off now. Just be careful not to break it, obviously. And kind of get it by hand. Yep. So once this is all the way off, underneath there, you're gonna see two um, Allen key slots. So we're gonna grab our Allen keys. And let's see what size this is. So they're pretty small. Nope, not that one. Yeah, it's that one. So it's gonna be the 564th Allen key. So we're gonna remove both of these. And once you do that, guys, that'll get us into the Spire 3 motor housing. Now, the Spire 3 motor is not the same as the Spire IR motor, so you cannot use a Spire IR motor to replace this with. They are different motors. You will need a Spire 3 motor. Okay, so once that's replaced, or those screws are off, excuse me, we can pull our housing right out. And that's what the motor looks like, just like so. It's no good, it's all burnt out. So we're gonna grab our new motor here. If you guys are having issues like this, um, reach out to Virtue. They'll be pretty good and they'll probably give you some sort of a deal on buying a new one. So just looking at these two, they look pretty similar. Nothing's really changed on them. 
So yeah, we'll set the old one to the side. And we'll put the new one in. So making sure that when we're putting it in guys, we are putting the power button assembly to the back so that when we want to power it on, that will work without a problem. So it fits in there nice and snug with that foam. Boom, it'll pop up there. And then we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our Allen screws. Make sure they're nice and, you know, decently snug. Don't want the motor falling out. So once that's in there guys, we can go ahead and reinstall this black plastic cap. We're just gonna, there's a certain way to install it. There is a flat edge and the rest is round. So make sure you do install it the correct way. This is magnetic as well. Boom, just push that down like so. And once that's back on and everything, we can go ahead and we're gonna grab our whole tray assembly and we're gonna reinstall this. So as you guys can see on here, there are kind of like little hinges. I don't know if you guys can see that, how it's shaped there. They swivel in, so they kind of swing in. So you're gonna grab it and you're gonna place them in like so, and you kind of swing it in. And just mind the wire here. You're gonna to wanna to follow it through the track that Virtue is kind of left for you. And once you do that, you'll hear it snap. Once it's in, it's not gonna come out. And we're just gonna re-plug in our wire harness here. So let's get this bad boy in. Boom. Now once your wire harness is in guys, we should be able to just power it on and just confirm everything is working. Voila. So it was the motor guys. Unfortunately, it needed to be replaced. So once it's been replaced, you can insert your tray back into the Spire 3. Oh, almost forgot the drive cone. Snap your drive cone back in. Okay guys, we're back. I figured out the, uh, the issue. Um, so we put the new Spire 3 motor in and it was working fine. But as soon as I installed this tray, um, and was to press the power button here, it was not uh, doing anything. And that was just uh, a simple kind of little thing that uh, is kind of a nuisance, but uh, it happened, so we figured it out. Um, basically, the activation point on this was not hitting the power button assembly. So it would kind of just half press it. And that was because the board here, like the solder points, it was just kind of flexing this is the old one it's not got any flex to it but the new one i have is quite flexible i don't know if it's the board they use is a lot thinner um, but it is a lot more flexible so all i did to stop that was i kind of just cut cut a little bit of cardboard up and just wedged it behind there to put a solid backing so that uh, the power button wouldn't move um, i don't know if you guys can kind of see that i just wedged a little bit of that stuff in there and now it's working fine so when you put the tray in you can actually um, see it when you have the cone off. You can kind of see the, the power button in there. So when you go to press the power button, you can see this black tab moving. And all it was doing is it wasn't actually fully clicking the button. So that cardboard is now causing it to have a firm back and it's working fine now. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed that video on how to replace your Spire 3 motor. Um, a little bit confusing if you've never done it before, but uh, hopefully this tutorial gives you everything you guys need to know. And uh, yeah, guys, catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.